Amid growing criticism over the so-called second salary lawmakers get every month, the National Assembly decided to abolish the special activity funds. It will only leave a minimum amount that's related to national interests and will publicize how that money is spent. Kim Minji has the latest from Parliament. The National Assembly has decided to completely do away with the so-called special activity funds, with the exception of some areas related to core national interests, such as foreign affairs, security and trade. That means there will be no opaque funds set aside for the Parliament's negotiating parties and standing committees, no foreign travel expenses for lawmakers, and no expenses that fall outside their original purpose or that go against public sentiment. For 2018, we will only enforce minimum expenses that are commensurate with the money's purpose and return the remainder. We will also sharply cut the budget for the funds next year. For this year, the budget set aside for special activity funds in Parliament is roughly five and a half million U.S. dollars. Half of that is earmarked for the second half of the year, which the National Assembly has decided to cut by between 70 and 80 percent, meaning there will only be around $440,000 used under the name of special activity funds. The latest decision comes amid mounting controversy over the special activity funds, as some ranking lawmakers get tens of thousands of dollars a month on top of their salaries, but have been under no obligation to report how the money is spent. On Monday, the floor leaders of the negotiating bodies agreed to scrap the funds on their part, despite earlier plans to keep them, but only in cases where they can turn receipts or documentation. But the removal of the special activity funds has raised concerns that the National Assembly could just end up expanding its budget for official expenses to make up for the loss. The Parliament said that it's willing to accept any request to disclose how the special funds have been spent after they've taken some time until the end of this year to prepare. The National Assembly also vowed to review thoroughly other areas of the budget allocated to the Parliament, aside from the special activity funds, saying that any areas deemed a waste or reckless will be cut. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.